plot something you think that people are just pretending to enjoy. I think one thing people are just pretending to enjoy is small talk. You know, that awkward exchange where we're all just waiting for a socially acceptable moment to escape. We're like actors in a bad sitcom, smiling and nodding while secretly plotting our exit strategy. Tea the weather or your weekend plans, but hey, it's the polite thing to do right. So let's keep up the charade and continue this riveting discussion about how unpredictable the weather has been lately. Durban and other pontification friendly hard alcohols like mescal. Tea likes stray hard alcohol for the same reason. I don't like straight vinegar straight fish sauce, or straight anchovies, they're fucking revolting on their own, but great when mixed with other things. Absolutely no one takes their first sip of straight bourbon and says, wow, amazing. They learn it's cool and acquire the taste enough to look cool themselves. Miss me with that bullshit. In my opinion, one thing that many people pretend to enjoy is small talk. While it's often seen as a social norm and a way to initiate conversations, many individuals find small talk superficial and unfulfilling. They may engage in it out of politeness or to avoid awkwardness. But deep down, they might prefer more meaningful or genuine interactions. Small talk can sometimes feel like a social obligation rather than a genuine source of enjoyment. For many people, cricket and football, they are both so heinously boring and lame. Indian food. It smells like an old lady's perfume cabinet. Politics. Nobody is happy. They point at the other side like they are the devil and just argue non-stop and virtue signal about how great their side is. Billie Eilish. Zero talent emo pop version of bad mumble rap. She isn't good in any way. Completely forgettable music. Mumble rap in general. It's hideous. Driving, sure, sure. It's the symbol of freedom and status. Until you get stuck in traffic and have to contend with the worst psycho drivers. And blame the problems of driving to everything and everyone else. Mostly the cyclists and pedestrians besides the obvious other drivers of course. And the roads that always break do you wonder why? Going to office get-togethers. These neither allow me to be totally free to just be myself or be do anything to advance me. Professionally. Plus, I don't drink. So any time the boss makes a crass joke, I just kind of sit there feeling a bit embarrassed and irritated rather feeling to slash to give a hootenanny. You wave of trad women who have convinced themselves that making men happy. Foregoing a career if she so chose. Chaining yourself to your kids and house and just being obedient makes them truly happy. He tricked you, my dear. Their relationships. All the TikToks and posts talking about three-month rule and honeymoon phase are fucking wild. Like, do you actually love your partner? It seems you don't. Especially with the lack of effort. Reality TV. I had a newish friend invite me over to hang and they just put on one of the Real Housewives shows. I don't know which one, but it was just the tragiest, most unbearable thing I've ever seen. Driving. I think people believe they enjoy it. But when I see them spend hours in traffic, trying to park and stressing about directions, it doesn't seem like they're actually having fun. Oppenheimer. Online. Greatest movie ever. Real world everyone thought it was boring and hated it. I haven't met one live person that liked it. Raising kids, only a select few truly enjoy parenthood. Fewer still will ever admit that they regret that decision and would undo it if they could. Epa. That shit tastes like a Christmas tree pissed out a pine cone. Hipsters gotta be pretending to like that and I can't get out of it. I think this about pretty much any music I don't like. But especially anything auto-tuned or involving tuneless boasting about cars and women. Any of those annoying ass foods to eat. Peeling shrimp. Crab legs. Frog legs. Clans oysters. Lobster. Crabs etc. I feel like people watch a lot of TV shows simply for the socializing aspect around it and get no enjoyment from it. Sushi. Like it's eight. But I'm only into it because everyone else is into it. Nowhere near the level of pizza. Stinky canned fish. Like anchovies. I love pickled herring in the jar. But I can't stand them little fuckers. Sake. I like all alcohol in the entire world. But sake is just... Ugh, especially warm. WTF is that? Life. I'm like, what the fuck are you so happy about, dipshit? 
Don't you see the world we live in? Fuck off. Their social behavior. They want everybody thing nice of them. More. Most hard liquor. Especially bourbon. How can anyone find drinking straight bourbon enjoyable? Grapefruit. There is no amount of sugar that can possibly cover the bitterness of a grapefruit. Avocados. People die for growing them. It's mostly run by cartels now. Plus they taste terrible. Eating ass. What's that really doing for either of you? It's an asshole I don't want to eat it. The classics. I love Jane Austen movies but couldn't get through an actual Jane Austen book. Listening to karaoke. I get that it can be enjoyable to participate in. But listen to, no. Olive oil. The taste takes over the taste of everything you add it to and it's horrific. Lobster or crawdads. Gross ass bug with butter or hot sauce would do the same. Their identity on the internet. I wouldn't hear about it if you did. Licorice. You got some messed up taste buds if you like that stuff. Family time. Beer. Sunday mass. Being fully clothed and vegetables. Children. There's an entire thread dedicated to regretful parents. Kombucha. And those sparkling waters that allegedly have flavours. Lots of people seem to enjoy solipsism, but I just can't see how. Depends but some with parenting, working, living, anything. Cruises. Almost nothing about them seems appealing to me. Someone bring food office share, but that's taste bad.